Sam here from Creative Minds. In this video, we're checking out the Blog Widgets plugin, which is a set of five new visualization tools that highlight your WordPress sites, tags, and categories in a fun and engaging way. The tools offered include colorful blog tags, word clouds, dynamic clouds, bubble graphs, and random posts. In addition to the widgets, you also get short codes for these visualizations, so you can place them anywhere you like on your site. So the first thing that I'm going to show you is how to add these new widgets to your site's sidebar. If you navigate down to Appearance and then Widgets, this will show you all of your available widgets. And over on the right hand side are all of the different areas where you can add widgets. On the left hand side, you can see after you have installed the add-on that the blog bubble chart, the blog color cloud, dynamic cloud, single random post, and the word cloud widgets appear in this area. If you click on the name of an individual widget, you can automatically add it into any of these widget spaces over on the right. Now let's take a look at how to customize the widgets. Let's use the drop down menu for the bubble chart. You can give your bubble chart a name, choose the maximum number of items that you want to appear in the chart. For example, we can make it 10 instead of 30 since it's gonna be in a smaller space on the sidebar. Next, you can choose what the bubble is going to represent. So inside of each bubble, do you want there to be a link to a specific tag on your blog or a specific category on your blog. You can choose either one. Now let's take a look at some of the customization options for the word cloud. Again, you can choose a title, the maximum number of items. Next, you can choose the size of the words in the word cloud. You can choose it to be a random size or you can have the size of the word correspond to the occurrences of that category or that tag in your post. And of course, you can choose whether or not you want your word cloud items to be categories or tags. And we'll see what this looks like in just a minute. You can also drag and drop the widgets into the different sidebar spaces. So for example, let's drag the single random post widget over to our sidebar space. For this widget, you can choose the title of the widget and the number of words that you want to appear within. And let's also drag over the blog dynamic cloud. This widget has a lot more customization options. In addition to a title, you can also choose how much you want users to be able to zoom in on that cloud when they're hovering over it, the maximum number of items, and you can also choose the text color, the border color, the background color. All of these things are completely up to you. You can easily enter a color code in here, and that is the color that will appear in your widget. And like the other widgets, you can choose the tag size to be either random or if it should correspond with the number of occurrences of that category or tag in your posts. And you can choose for the cloud items to be categories or tags themselves. The last widget is the blog color cloud. And this is a lot like the dynamic cloud. You can add a title, the maximum number of items, and you also have all of these customization options for the colors that you want to appear in your widget. And you can even choose up to three different item colors and a different color for when a user hovers over an item in your color cloud. Finally, you can choose whether or not you want to show the occurrences, the number of occurrences of each tag or category in your posts along with the word. So now let's take a look at what this actually looks like for your user. Here on our Creative Minds blog, over on the right hand side, we've added a couple of those widgets in here in the sidebar. We have our bubble chart and we also have a word cloud. The bubble chart has all of the different categories in the blog. And if a user clicks on a specific category, it brings you to that category page on your blog. So for example, if you click on CM Answers, it will bring you to the CM Answers category. Next, let's take a look at the widget shortcodes. Not only do these widgets go in the sidebar, but you can also insert them directly into posts and pages using the supported shortcodes. You can easily show the supported shortcodes. So I've created a page and it's called Explore the Creative Minds blog. 
And here we have our widgets in short code form. The first one is our blog word cloud widget. I have the width set at 100%. The type refers to tags rather than categories and the size of the words will correspond to the amount of occurrences in the blog. Next, we have the blog dynamic cloud. I have this set at 150%, so it's, it will be especially large. We have 10 terms included. The type will correspond to the category and the size of the words in the dynamic cloud will be random. And finally, we have our bubble graph shortcode. It is going to be at 100% width. 30 terms will be included. The type will correspond to different categories in the blog and the size of those bubbles will correspond to the occurrences of those words in the blog. So now let's check them out on this new page. First, we have the word cloud. And as you can see, 20 of the different tags from our WordPress plugins blog appear here. And the size of the words corresponds to the amount of occurrences in the whole blog. So it means that plugin is a huge tag. And if someone clicks on any one of these tags, for example, ad server, it will bring you directly to the ad server archives. So the users can see all of the blog posts that appear under that tag. Next, let's check out the dynamic cloud. Here we have a rotating view of categories on the blog and the size of these categories in the di dynamic cloud is random. And again, if someone goes ahead and clicks on one of these categories, for example, glossary skins, it will bring you to the glossary skins archive. Finally, let's check out the bubble graph. Here we have bubbles of different categories for the WordPress blog. And the size of these bubbles corresponds to the amount of posts that are categorized in each one of these bubble categories. So, so this is exactly as the same as the other widgets. If someone clicks on one of the bubbles, for example, blogging tools, it will bring you directly to the blogging tools archives. Blog widgets are a fun way to highlight the range of your site's content and really engage your site users to explore that content. Be sure to check out the CM Blog Widgets plugin on plugins.cminds.com today.